I don't know if I'm the only one, but uh, there might be other people out there who are intrigued by SUVs just like I am. So this is a Mitsubishi Montero. Like I have one of these in San Diego. It's pretty much the same car, except this is not a Montero. It's a Hyundai. Look at that, Hyundai. I never knew Hyundais. Uh, this is a diesel. It's called the Galloper 2. So it looks to be almost exactly like a Montero. Um, but it's a Hyundai. So I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of some SUVs that you don't typically get in the United States that are down here, and even some that you do, because I'm sort of SUV, especially classic older SUV sort of um, oh, enthused. Look, here's the Scorpio. I don't know anything about this thing. All I know is it's a Scorpio, and it's a turbo. And, diesel, right? So, I've never seen this before. Look at that. Trip, huh? What kind of car is that? Anyway, we'll, uh, when I see some more, I'll make a little video clip of all these crazy SUVs. And of course, my favorite being the uh, Suzuki Samurai. They sell new Samurais down here. They used to sell them in the United States. They don't sell them anymore. I've got two. I used to have three. Gave one up finally. But I got one at the ranch in Winters. It's my little ranch buggy. And I've got a really pristine, hard top one. You've probably seen some of the videos. In Lafayette. I love it to death. I could park it anywhere. So out of everywhere I've been in the world, and I've seen lots of ambulances, Costa Rica takes the cake. Look at that thing. Classic Land Cruiser with snorkel. Coolest ambulance I've ever seen. I think I want one. Definitely have to come home with one. I guess you just call this the ultimate. The Hummer, we know all about that. We see those at home. That's nothing new, but it is the first one I've seen in Costa Rica. Seems a little out of place. I don't know. A little too American. You gotta love the third world. And you gotta love Land Rover for so vigorously pursuing the market share in the third world as far as vehicles go. Look at this thing. This thing's probably been riding around since what? Is this like what, the 60s or something? Anyway, there you go. Pretty much like the new Defender, except older. Okay, here was my favorite, favorite vehicle I saw back in the 80s and 90s. It's this little four-wheel drive van. Um, it's tiny. But look, you could probably sleep in it, put your board on top. Uh, everything you need, nothing you don't. Look, it's like, it's like if the Suzuki Samurai made a camper van. I mean, look at this thing. Isn't that cool? It's a little stick shift. Uh, I'm not sure if it's four-wheel drive all the time or what. But these things are really popular in Costa Rica, and it's good to see that they're still in use. I could probably just use one of those at home. It's the ultimate mini little camper van. I don't even know who makes it. There's no branding on it. It just says four-wheel drive. I don't think that's a brand. No, it's a Subaru. At least that's what the mud flap says. So, yeah. Can't get them in the States, unfortunately. Okay, here's a closer look at the Nissan Patrol. We don't have this vehicle at home, but it looks pretty cool. This one's not like the most customized, but uh, you can see, imagine what, it, what it's like when it's customized. And look at this. Here's a Daihatsu. Uh, it's a Terios. And uh, I don't know if this thing four wheel drive or not. Does it say? Doesn't say. I would imagine it is because it's pretty challenging conditions down here. Um, by the way, if you want to know what the police truck looks like, that's what it looks like right there. And uh, there's your Datsu. It's kind of a cute little thing. Okay, here's another Gary preferred SUV. It's a Mitsubishi Montero. I've got one just like it, a 2002. Except mine's blue. Blue's way better than white. But that's a great car. That's probably the most popular four wheel drive in the third world because you could beat the hell out of it and it still keeps going. And it's cheap compared to Toyota Land Cruiser. Okay, there's a Toyota I've never seen before. It's called the Toyota Fortuner. It's like a fortune cookie in the shape of an SUV. Look at my wife walk right by this cute little car without even noticing it. Without even noticing it. There she goes. She could care less. But I love, look at the little Suzuki Samurai. Um, this one's a little different. There's several different uh, models and this is kind of the newer one, but there's a better boxier one that I like that's even newer, I think. 
and I have one of these at home. I have two of them actually. So let's see if I can find a new one. Okay, so here is a truly rare automobile in Costa Rica. This is my beloved Trooper, the Suzu Trooper. Uh, I have one of these at home. I absolutely love it. Mine's in 1988, the year I started college. And uh, what's so great about it is the seat like folds up super tight and you, it's, all, it's literally like a truck. It's like a covered truck. I've got a rack on mine, but uh, it's also really narrow. It's extremely narrow, but it's very tall, like an ambulance. Tu carro? Está bueno? Yeah, Me tengo un también. Si. Sí. Me is azule. Already? In California. Yeah. California. Buen, buen, buen carro, no? Yeah, cool. Every time I try to try my Spanish, they talk back to me in English. How much? Maybe like four thousand dollars. Yeah, it's like a classic. All right, there you go. So this is actually the sport edition. I don't know what that means, but um, anyway, it's a fantastic vehicle. Oh, look, there's the Patrol. That's a. I think that's a Nissan. It's too bad that guy took off. That would have been a good deal. And here is. The, uh, what's that? That's uh, that's just a regular Land Cruiser, but it's a diesel. You can't get diesels uh, where I come from in those vehicles. So let's just keep hunting SUVs. I'm a, I like the SUV stalker of Costa Rica. That was one of my favorite bands in high school, but who knew you could actually get a little SUV called a Rush? <laughs> look at that. I don't know who makes this. I guess, look, Toyota makes it. That's the Toyota Rush. And if you don't like that, you can get the little Toyota RAV4. I never really like these so much, but they're kind of cool. It's like a little mini Samurai, a little bigger than a Samurai. Anyway, there's more, more interesting ones and I'll get to those. When I have at that moment, I see them. And if you're getting a Samurai, it's gotta have, it's gotta have a surf rack on it. It's required. So right when you thought you found the most ultimate Costa Rican overland rig, you come across this thing. Holy moly. Look at that. Got a winch in the back. Got some great hooks to grab too. Looks like it's made by Fort, which has a Mitsubishi sign. Maybe it's not the same as Mitsubishi. It's got this crazy, it's got a combo. Is that a combo? Um, it's got the awning, it's got stuff on the top. Look at this massive thing. It's a land track. Is this like a Toyota? Oh, it's a Ford. It's a Ford, like, Raptor, I guess. It's got a winch in the front. It's got some antennas to talk to aliens with. They look pretty stout. It's got the shovel up top up there. You see that? Right there. Got the snorkel. Everything you need to pretty much evade the zombies during the apocalypse. And there it is. Ah. Boom. Night ops. They won't even know you're coming. They won't even see you as long as you go in at night. Okay, here comes another one. Samurai. Samurai. Yeah. All right, if you ask me, here's your ultimate brand new Costa Rican transportation SUV. The Prado Land Cruiser. We don't have this in the United States. This one's particularly dialed in. Look at this, it's got custom wheels. It doesn't have a winch. It's got a custom bumper. And in case he needs to cross that big river, uh, he's got the uh, safari snorkel. And this does look like an SUV that actually is used for its very purpose, getting around in tough locations. He's got the awning for camping. He's got the lights. And um, yeah, and look at the beautiful design of the mud. Right there, let's get, a, let's get a long shot of the vehicle. And look, he's got a couple dents. That means he really uses his vehicle. Isn't that cool? All right, uh, Scary Harry Gary down here with Nick and Anna. Where are you guys from? Czech Republic. Probably. Czech Republic, right on. Yeah. So they're the proud renters of this most awesome vehicle. What do you guys think of that thing? It's 
it's a great car. Yeah? Great car, yeah. We, we tested it yesterday going to the waterfall. Through the waterfall? No, not through it. Oh. But the way to it was okay. quite, Oh, the way was, to it. was quite good. Nice. Yeah, yeah it was muddy. It, it was going uphill like this. And have you have you tested the snorkel ability of Not the, yet. You know, We're going to another fall today that should be crossing a river. So oh, really? Gonna, gonna so that. to really test the snorkel ability of the vehicle, you need to get the water above that side mirror. Okay. You know? we ha yeah, we'll yeah. see. But yeah. it's been raining a lot, so... The vehicle may float away in the river if you do that, if there's any current. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the whole idea. As long as you keep the water below this level here, then your car can still breathe. <laughs> I don't know who would ever test it to that extreme. No, I don't think so. so. So you guys are having a good time. How long are you here for? Three weeks. And what did it cost to rent this thing? Uh, well, for the three weeks, it cost 1200 bucks. 1200 bucks. Yeah. All right. But yeah, we had to pay some extra for to get it. Not to Liberia, where it was supposed to land. Okay. But to San Jose. So we All right. A little bit extra. So you'd recommend it to other people coming here, and uh, it's a great vehicle. Definitely. Yeah. 100%. It's a great. Yeah. Has it, have you ever gotten to a place where you like felt like you were almost stuck? Well, yesterday when we were going to that waterfall, it was like this this uphill. It's deep. And she got a panic attack. She got a panic attack? She got a panic. She that sounds familiar. She wanted me to <laughs> stop the car and get a hug and let's get out of it. Do you think that's a male-female thing? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I, just, I have the same problem. <laughs> but we, we, we made it. We made it to the top. All right. All right. So we heard about your panic attack. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. We're going to have our food now. Okay, we've moved on from the SUVs of Costa Rica to the SUVs of Panama. And yes, Jeep is one of them. They actually have uh, some really cool uh, national uh, army Jeeps that I wish I had time to photograph, but I didn't. And there you go. You got your Jeep in Panama. To prove it, I can prove it's in Panama. There, see? Okay, I found the ultimate police car. <laughs> this is awesome. Look, it's a Suzuki Samurai police Jeep. This is awesome. Oh my God. <laughs> I wish I could take this home. I think this is going to be my final SUV. I'm actually in Panama now, in Bocas de Toro, with that beautiful light and the new front of the uh, Samurai. Oh my God. So, I have a 1987 hardtop. This is a hardtop. It looks exactly like this. I always thought they brought back the hardtop and then I like, got some cool wheels and got some flares on it that it would be a huge seller. And it, it absolutely is right now all over the world except you can't get them. You can't get them in the United States because they don't trust us to drive these things. They think they're too dangerous. Um, it's the Jimmy All Grip. But, um, Felicia Nasty and Al. And that right there is probably, might very well be the only Suzuki Samurai you'll ever see in your lifetime that's an official police vehicle. I think it's time for me to get some still photos. It's in a terrible spot. <laughs> it's not so, uh, it's not so uh, photogenic right now. But um, if I get a side shot of this thing, can I get back far enough? I don't think so. Anyway, let's get a little pan. Wow! And that's it. Carson, yeah, no. we need to make a deal on this thing. <laughs> we yeah. gotta have it. We gotta take it home. How can we get it home? I don't know. I don't think it's legal. <laughs> it's totally not legal. That doesn't matter. Yeah, that's my favorite color, too. Look at that blue. Beautiful blue. Um, yeah, that thing is awesome. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna get some photos. And here's the Insignia. How cool is this? You know how cool I would be if I was riding around in this thing back in the States? And it's got the Panama Police Insignia on it. Um, uh, God and country. So, anyway, there it is. You know, I probably can make a good deal on it because it actually has a flat tire. Tell them I'll, I'll take it as is. We're pretty cheap. Okay, I realize that's the best like side angle shot I could get. It's too bad we couldn't move that little 
ATV, but there it is, the cutest little police car ever. Let's get some comments going, guys. What do you think?